Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and I got a little Battlegrounds tournament video for you. Um, we have this uh, tournament, the Winter Clash, David and Goliath. I am in the Goliath group, um, and out of the brackets I'm in the Sentinel group, um, where I'm faced up against Fintech, Na, and Devate. And for the first match I'm going up against Devate. And I, I don't really know much about him, um, but I heard that he is the leader of um, Ghost Dogs Alliance. So um, we're gonna do, we're gonna try to see how we can do and do the best that we can. Um, somehow I got the number one seed in the um, group, and so I get to um, invite first for this match. Um, which, you know, when you invite, you get the last picks and whatnot, so you do kind of have a small um, advantage as far as the drafting goes. So, um, so yeah, we're going to fire this up. We're going to do the best we can. You know, we have this um, electric defense node where you can get um, power drained um, if they have an armor up. And it's also got the hit me, I dare you, where every 10 hits they will gain an armor up. Um, and you know, it can be quite a bit annoying. Uh, there are champs that can get around it. And we're gonna see how well we can do um, as far as drafting and fighting and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm not super huge into like being totally crazy with Battlegrounds, but I really do appreciate, uh, I think it was Jay Will that um, invited me to participate in this tournament that Ghost Dog and all them are, are um, putting together, which it's, you know, it's a lot of fun, you know, it's kind of fun um, outside of all the other stuff that's going on in the game to do this. So, um, you know, first thing I saw was his Valkyrie. That's getting banned for sure. Um, and I end up banding his Fury and his Omega Sentinel. Um, I won't go too much into it, but basically I prefer to ban people, ban, ban champs that um, won. I think are either going to be good on attack or defense and that I also don't have in my deck. So that's how I basically got those bands. And then as far as the bands that I get, you know, you just got to deal with it. He banned my long shot, my Korg, and my Domino, which, you know, are pretty good bands. Domino can be a real pain in the butt. Um, and as far as like my draft goes, I mean, I'm, j I'm just going to try to <laughs> do what I can. So Gallon comes up. Yeah, I'm going to pick Gallon for sure. Gallon and Hulkling are absolute monsters because they totally um, ignore the node. And they can take on a ton of champs. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to commentate over this whole thing. I think I'll skip through the draft, but you can see it play out. Um, thing, he's a beast. And it can be a nightmare to take down. Um, I'm going to be picking him. I think I end up picking Kingpin as well. Um, and as far as my rank 4 goes, Gallon's rank 4, Doom's rank 4, Thing's rank 4, Kingpin's rank 4. Um, i trying to think who else in the deck is rank 4. Torch. And a few others. Um, but yeah, so let's see, let's see what he gets. He has that AA. I, I, I generally don't like, um, you know, generally I might even ban AA, but if not, most of the time you can draft around, at least I, at least with my deck, I, I've, I've been pretty good with drafting around um, defenders that he can take down. We'll see how that all plays out. And this last one, I just picked Void. I don't know that I really had anybody in mind that I needed for this round. I felt like my this round, my draft was pretty solid and countered his. Um, so he first goes out with a Symbiote Supreme as a defender. And I was like, hmm, that's an interesting one. Um, and we you know, I thought about using I thought about using Gallon. Technically Gallon can can work against Symbiote Supreme. Um, Kingpin can work. Hulkling not a good idea with Mystic Dispersion, um, and then Doom. So I end up going with Doom just because that kind of leaves me more options. And he was going up against my Man Thing with a Captain Marvel movie, and I I personally didn't understand that one. I felt like 
he just like gave me this match simply because um, one, I don't think Symbiote Supreme is a, is a great option on defense, um, unless, you know, there's a whole bunch of buff champs left. Um, but with Man-Thing, any, any contact, you know, with those Mystics, they can, they can do a lot of, uh, energy damage. Um, well, I guess not any contact. I guess Man-Thing doesn't have, um, uh, what is it called? Energy attacks. But as a Mystic, it's just it's just not a good idea. Plus, I run Mystic Dispersion, so yeah, I think he. I, you know, I, I went into this thinking, you know, all I have to do is finish this, with, you know, and not not have much of a problem. Now there, I, I did make, mess up. I, I threw a special, pushed him over the ten hit, so I am getting that Electric Defense Power Drain. I do nullify it, um, so I did take some damage there. Um, we're gonna put up a nullify. And right there, it, he switched his modes and he got another um, armor up. Kind of unfortunate, but we finish. Not the best start um, by any means. But uh, yeah, he's going against this Captain Marvel. And I'm just like, yeah, this is a, this is a W. So um, I'll speed through the, the timer on some of these because, you know, it's a waste of time. But as far as the rest of the matches and stuff, I'll make sure it's just full speed. But as far as like the timer countdowns between the matches, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed through that. Um, but yeah, so I get the win on the first match, which is always good. You know, get a little of the the butterflies out. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go into the next match. And I think I'm gonna put down my thing just because he doesn't have a, any. I mean. Do I put down thing or do I put down? I put down thing, and he can either use Gallon or he can use Hulkling, um, which are plenty of capable options. Hulkling's going to take a little bit more time. Gallon, um, you just need to make sure you throw the special and the harvest um, when he doesn't have protection up, and you're good. So he puts down a Wiccan, which I which I expected him to do. And I'm going to go and use Kingpin. And he ends up using Hulkling. I personally think that, that, you know, as far as this fight goes, I thought that was a mistake just because um, Kingpin is a really solid option for um, Wiccan just because he puts a lot of debuffs on you. So you can go into, um, you can get, basically, you can get a lot of the rage. And you might get to overrun or overdrive or whatever it's called. But it also might get neutralized. But as far as you know, I'm gonna have a lot of debuffs, so my attack's gonna be really high. Um, and my whole plan here is just to do a lot of heavies. And the neutralize will prevent the unstoppable most of the time, which is fine because then Mystic Dispersion doesn't come into play. Um, and it doesn't look like he's running max Mystic Dispersion. Maybe three out of five, which is helpful. And Kingpin just takes care of business so once i came out of that fight i'm like yeah unless he finishes at full health within the next i don't know 15 seconds or so i got this so we wait that out and it does take significantly longer um and he actually doesn't take out thing um which hulkling can can do so i'm not sure how that fight went for him but um we get the first match get to you know round one round two get the win happy about that um, and yeah, so we, we get the first one. We're happy with that. It's always good. Good to get a good start. I personally, I don't feel like I played all that well, but, uh, we get the win. Put my little icon up there for the W for round for match number one. And next, uh, he is going to invite for round two. Um, that's going to give him the slight advantage as far as the drafting and all that stuff goes. Um, and let's get into this. And as far as the bands go on my side, you know, I'm gonna stick with what worked. Um, and even if it didn't work, I probably would have not changed um, my my bands for at least for at least this matchup with with Devate. Um, because again, Valkyrie, she's just great. Omega Sentinel, she's got those armor ups. There are champs that can deal with her, um, but 
you know, she's just kind of annoying to begin with. And, uh, yeah. So, again, he doesn't ban Gallon. Gallon comes up, I'm picking Gallon, because Gallon can just end fights, you know, super, super fast. Um, he goes with Symbiote Supreme again, um, and he picks up Cersei, and I'm like, okay. So I had the choice. I could have either picked up Tigra or, Lo or Longshot to basically combat Cersei. I, I decided to go with Longshot. I really like Longshot. I do like um, Tigra, um, and I can play Tigra okay, but Longshot, I feel, is just easier and quicker, at least in my opinion. Um, and then I get Domino. Um, pick Hulkling and then so here I was debating like who to pick and um, I end up just going I think I end up going with uh, Falcon because Falcon can pretty much shut down anybody shut down the node altogether with being locked on and then let's see who does he end up picking up I don't think he ended up getting um, a great domino counter domino can be a real pain in the butt uh, and then here we go we got we got Rentra definitely picking him he's great for defense it can be used for offense if needed um, and then I was looking at looking at the champs and I'm gonna go with I think Titania Titania is pretty solid because she can do some crazy damage off the special three and she can put the staggers up and prevent that armor up so I go with her and then he picks he just picks uh, Scarlet Witch so or Sigil Witch so we're gonna go into this one hoping that I can just keep going. And I think I'm just gonna start with Domino. Yeah, I'm gonna start with Domino. Domino, she is a pain in the butt. Um, if you do not get a solid counter, you're gonna be taking some damage and uh, it's just not gonna be good times. Domino can just go crazy. And then he, again, he goes with Symbiote Supreme on defense. Um, again, I didn't understand the Symbiote Supreme as a defender. Uh, you know, I guess depending, I guess he's trying to prevent me from using Gallon and, um, and, uh, Hulkling, but, uh, I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's get a W right here, um, with, with, uh, Titania. He's going in with Black Widow. Black Widow can deal with Domino, but you're going to take damage, and it's just, it's just not going to be good times. So I think in this fight, um, I do, I do mess up my rotation, so normally I'm just going to do parry, quadruple light, that's going to get me to 8 hits, then I do heavy, um, that's going to put the stagger up and prevent the armor up, and then I think on the next one, or I think he like switches, yeah, he switches phases, uh, maybe, it's this, maybe it's the next one after this, um, I don't get the... Uh, stagger up yeah so I got eight hits I need to throw off a heavy I think I do throw no I don't throw I don't throw the heavy I'm like ah that was stupid um, I am indestructible I do get hit there I do get hit there and I'm like this is this is not going good let's just go we're at special three now we're gonna be indestructible and unstoppable we're just gonna go over to the wall and start heavying him and I think he just starts resisting yeah there's a wrist resist Luckily, he didn't double resist. He got one out of the two on both of those, but we but we get the KO, and we get the KO from Domino, too. So Domino took him out. Took him out pretty quick. 5K points. I'm happy with that. So we get the we get the first match, uh, first round, get the win. So we're, you know, at this point in time, I was feeling pretty, pretty good, um, even though I haven't played the best. Um, I probably should have done some warm-up matches and stuff, but I didn't. Um, so I'm going to throw down Rentra. He really doesn't have... I mean, it's either Doom or Sigil. He ends up going for Doom. He throws down Juggy on defense. I got Gallon. And I was thinking here, is there anything that I'm missing that Gallon can't take Juggernaut? Um, and I'm like, nah, I should just take him. I was thinking about maybe Longshot, but... I was like, no, nah, he can get some staggers on, but he has to actually hit me and whatnot. And Mystic Dispersion can come into play, but I'm going to try to just do full combos. And Perry turns off his uh, gem thingy to give him the unstoppables. And then we're going to get those... Uh, we, we, well, we, don't get the, we don't get the power drains. Maybe that's, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting my ramp up to be 
higher with the armor up, um, but I'm not getting the, the drains. Um, and so here I thought maybe it would be enough, not even close to enough. Now here's the thing, when I did that I was like, hmm, I have to get another harvest in before those intensify buffs, the one, the second one that shows eight. I have to get off another special before those expire because he has Mystic Dispersion, eight, eight MDs, it's gonna push him to special three. And we do, we do end up getting him to um, harvest again, get the KO, full health, decent score. It could have been, I think it could have been better, it could have been faster. I, I don't know, I probably would have maybe gone to special three instead. That's what, probably what I should have done. And then here he's he's fighting my range draw. And I'm thinking most likely he's gonna time out or it's gonna come really close. And yeah, it, he times out, he barely gets, he doesn't even get half health. So Rentra, he's, he's just a tank. He is just an absolute tank. Super hard to take down um, unless you have some counters um, that are pretty specific for, for him. Um, and we get another 2-0 win in match number two. So we're, we're, we're going well. I'm thinking, can I get the sweep and just get out of here? Um, so I got, we're up 2-0. Um, and at this point, I do send the invite to him because it's back to me and it does take a bit. I think, I think he was taking a breather. Probably didn't, probably wasn't feeling too good. You know, being down 2 nothing, I wouldn't feel too good either. Um, cause he's, he hasn't, he hasn't won it. He hasn't won a round yet. So, um, and I'm like, all right, that's fine. I'm just kind of chilling. And, and I set, resend the invite. He ends up accepting it. And we're going to go in for match number three. And I'm, I'm hoping I can just close this out. Um, it would be, it would be nice, but you know, one, you got to play well and two, you got to get lucky with the draft, to be honest. Um, I just quickly, I'm just going to go with the same bands, you know, it's been working. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to double, double guess anything. Um, he has changed his bands, um, between the first two matches. We'll see what he bans this time. This band, he, this time he does ban Gallon and Man Thing. And then he's still banning Quark. I guess, you know, he doesn't like fighting Quark, which is which is understandable. Um, I think he goes with Doom on this first pick. Yeah, if I remembered right. So he goes with Doom. I see Thing. I'm like, yep, he's going to get Thing. And then I'm like, Titania, she's been doing well. She can counter um, Doom if he gets thrown down. Um, he goes for Titania as well. Um, and I think he goes... Okay, I was like, does he go for Symbiote Supreme? Yeah, he goes for Warlock instead. Um, and then this, this I, this one I didn't really um, like as far as this set of champs. I do end up going with Warlock and Falcon. Um, both can be used on offense, and then obviously Warlock can be a decent defender. And of course, right away he gets Venom Pool, which is like the best, one of the best counters for Warlock because you can eat the armor, you can heal, you don't get power drained ever against Tex. I'm like, great. And then he ends up picking up Gore, and I'm like, hmm. So I picked Domino for Defender, and I'm thinking, who do I use to counter Gore out of these champs? Obviously, Venom the Duck, not a great option. Um, and, you know, I can either choose. Uh, Wiccan or I can choose Black Cat and I tried to experiment with this one I've never I've never I'm trying to think the last time I even fought Gore in this meta I usually don't see him but I'm gonna end up trying Black Cat um, and seeing if it won't work obviously Wiccan can work I just don't like using Wiccan a ton on attack I mean I will use him but for Gore, he just gets a ton of buffs, and I don't know that I've ever fought Gore with Wiccan, um, so I just didn't pick him. That's all there was to it. And then here, I was hoping for like Longshot to show up or something like that, and we get not the best draft. I end up picking up King Groot, and I'm like, well, King Groot can do Warlock, Warlock if it, that ends up coming into play, um, and worst case, put him on defense. Um, 
but he, he has some options to deal with that. So first up, he throws out the gore. I knew that was coming. And um, we're gonna go in and throw down our domino. So he has Warlock pretty much to use, or he could use, I don't know, we throw in our thing. Um, I was gonna say, I think I was gonna save the domino for later. Um, maybe I should have gone different, but uh, I think he's gonna go with Hogly again, or I, I think maybe this one he goes for, yeah, this one he goes for Titania, which is odd because she cannot prevent the armor up. I don't think he realized um, uh, thing is is immune to nullify and stagger and all that good stuff. So again, this is this is an experiment. You know, one, one thing with me in Battlegrounds, I, you know, I like to I like to try different things. I don't play it a lot, so some of these things are, um, you know, first time first time things. So first, I get off two heavies, get some power, and then I'm just going to hit into his block. Um, and stall out. So technically, with the ability accuracy on Black Cat, she can bypass that armor up from triggering and all that kind of stuff with her combo. Um, but I'm just okay. The whole game plan here was to just let the um, heist end manually, and then the sabotage would get put on, and then you can just go to town. Because the sabotage on, you're gonna bypass all the the armor ups from the hit me I dare you, and he's just gonna be trying to get like regens and buffs and all that. And then right when the high sent, you know, I just miss an opening, and then there, I tried to counter his heavy too early, and I just get wrecked, and I got a bunch of those debuffs on me, and it's through, there's just no coming back. And then, yeah, it 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 didn't turn out well. Could she, can she do it? Yeah, um, she can definitely do that fight, um, but uh, not in the hands of me at that point in time. Maybe I'll try that one again later. But uh, it could it could have worked. It could have worked, but it did not. It did not work well um, by any means. Um, and then you know he's going in on titanium titanium thing. I don't think that's going to go too well. Um, but there's no way that I don't think he's going to score less points than me. Which, congratulations to um, Devate, he ends up timing out, but losing not a ton of health, um, and not taking off a ton of health of, of thing either, and he wins. So congrats to him, I played like doo-doo, and my, my plan did not get executed, didn't work well, and he, he just did, just did enough to, to take the W, so... We're going in for round two, and I'm trying to think who does he place on this one. I was thinking I he's gonna put. Does he place Domino? Okay, he places Domino. No, I place Domino, and he places Wiccan. I think. No, who does he? Yeah, he places Wiccan, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take that with Titania and get a W. Um, Titania can't get buffs, and basically the the whole the whole game plan for me is do two quadruple light combos. Don't trigger the indestructible anything yet, um, and then on the eighth hit, do parry heavy, trigger the indestructible, unblockable. I'll get the staggers, um, prevent the armor up, and then try to build to special three as quickly as I can. Um, and hopefully by the, by the time I get to special three, I have Haymaker refreshed and I can hit it again and do a heavy into uh, special three and you get all the debuffs. And here, I, I, already, messed, I already messed it up. I already messed it up because I did too many hits and the heavy, you have to do on the eighth hit um, because the first one applies the, the stagger, the second one will trigger the armor up and remove it. And so I messed up, I did a five hit and like a four hit or whatever. So I'm just backing off. I'm like, oh, this is such a waste. Um, I need to get to special three though. We do got that uh, neutralize on us to get some healing, which is nice. And here we go. We're just gonna block this. I'm not gonna mess around with dexing or anything, especially since I got the willpower healing going on. And 
I do, it, it, it is better if you can throw off the special three with Haymaker. So if you want to hit heavy and then cancel on the special three, and I'm like, geez, I cannot block, I cannot do anything. I have Haymaker record ready, boom, we hit it. Cancel into special three, and it's, it's gonna be lights out. Um, because you double all the debuffs from the special three on that and one heavy with all the burst damage, get the win, and yeah, his Hulkling got nuked down by my Domino. Domino, thank you, she, she's doing some good work. Yeah, I, yeah, Domino, Domino really is a stinker, I'll just, I'll just say that. So, we win match two, or round two of match three, and we're all tied up, so winner of this one, if I win this, I take the sweep and I'm and I can just go home, go to bed. If I lose, we gotta play more. Um, so he goes to Doom, which is a good good option. Because if he would have went Warlock, I could have just gone King Groot. If he would have went Venom Pool, probably could have just gone King Groot or Falcon. Um, so I have the option to go Warlock or Falcon, and I'm like, mm, I could parry heavy. Um, but he's going to have an armor and Doom is armor break immune. I could get some decent damage, but I'm going to end up taking, you know, block penetration plus the plus the drain. So I end up going Falcon. Falcon with locked on, he can just bypass the nodes. You know, I'm going to take some chip damage and whatnot from blocking and all that. Um, and I'm just going to try to spam special ones. That was my whole game plan. I run max deep wounds, so I'm hoping the bleeds will take him away we push him to special two dex dex and try to dex and we just don't dex that and we die <laughs> so i was like wow that was really fast um worse than um the first fight against gore and i'm like well i'm dead because there's no way that he's gonna die to um king Guru. But it's kind of sad because he ends up timing out and does not kill my kangaroo. Only takes out half of his health, which was kind of expected because Venom is not, not a great option unless he's doing like a robot. Um, and kangaroo can't bleed. So there's not a lot of damage there. You can kind of get around the armor ups and stuff with his num num on a special one. But yeah, so I end up losing that match. So I lose uh, one to two get defeated that's okay you know it happens and I didn't play well and when you don't play well that's you deserve to lose right so he gets he gets a match it's two to one now and I'm like all right let's 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 just end this um, if possible because I really don't want to play extra matches anything can happen um, and we're gonna go into the bands I'm gonna ban the same same champs that he has, which is um, Valkyrie, Fury, and Omega Sentinel. It's worked fairly well. You know, me me messing up really didn't have anything to do with with the bans and whatever. Um, we get Tigra. We're gonna put up Tigra. If we need to use her, she's great. She's got the neutralize. She can do crazy damage. Um, he's got Gallon Band. Korg and Man Thing, so which is the same bands as last match that he won, so that's understandable. And we get Long Shot that pops up, and then we have Torch or Falcon. And this, at this time, I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna go with Falcon. Falcon is, I feel like, more reliable as long as you're playing well to just end with full health. Torch, you can take out some Mystics, but you're gonna take take some take some damage. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. He ends up picking Wiccan and Warlock again. And uh, you know Wiccan, he can he can be he can get nasty if you don't have the right counter, but then boom. Luckily I get Kingpin. I've already taken out his Wiccan with the Kingpin, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm looking at this, and I don't know why this took so long, but um obviously I'm picking Hulkling. Um, I think maybe I was looking at the rest of his matchups, but Hulkling's great because he can take out Warlock, he can take out um, uh, Sam Wilson. He ends up getting AA, and I think he goes with 
he ends up thinking about Killmonger, but then he switches to Symbiote Supreme again. Um, I think he really likes his Symbiote Supreme, and I think Symbiote Supreme can do some do some work, but I just it just didn't play out too well for him. Uh, and then I get Grintra. I'm going to pick him again, um, which you know he can be taken by AA. So we'll see. And then I just end up you know going for Titania again. She's she's solid for the meta. You can end with good health. You can take stuff down fast. I skipped on Torch. You might think I'm crazy, but uh, I mean I'll pick and use Torch. But if I can pick a champ that I feel like I can end with more health, I'm going to use that. So um, we got Rentra. Put him on defense, and you know I pretty much know he's going to use AA. So I'm figuring like, all right, who's he going to throw at me? He throws at me. Symbiote Supreme again. Why? I don't know. You know, looking at his looking at his matchups, he didn't really get a lot of great options on defense. I think I personally would have used Doom, but you know. So we're just going in. Uh, this time we're gonna play this match better because we've already done. Oh, we did we did Symbiote Supreme with Doom. And then we did Wiccan with Titania. But this match is going to go much, much better. Um, we get the heavy off, get the stagger, and got him in the corner. We're going to do a couple more heavies just because when he switches modes, he, he gets those um, extra buffs, which can consume the staggers. And we want to make sure that there's at least a stagger on to take care of the uh, armor up. So here he's at 8. And I'm going to wait. And then we're gonna get the parry heavy, get it off, and then we go to special three. I don't think Haymaker was active, so I don't think we're gonna get double debuffs, but check this out. Yeah, we didn't get double debuffs. And I totally like whiff, like hitting the heavy. I don't know, control issue, whatever, but we end up getting the heavy and knock him out, and that went that went pretty clean. Could have been a little bit faster. Um, but 53,000 points, it's it's good enough, and we beat an AA. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Rentrot is a beast. So we take round one. We just need one more win. One more win out of these next two rounds, and we take we take the victory. So who does he place? Yeah, he places Wiccan. He places Wiccan. I've already taken out his Wiccan with Kingpin. So I'm, I don't know, maybe he felt like I got lucky or something. And out of my options, I, I thought I was going to either place Longshot or Tigra. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to take put out on Longshot. Longshot's great on attack. Um, but he can also be a real pain in the butt on defense. Um, especially if you accidentally push him to pure heart and... Yeah, and pushing a special too, and you're not and you're not incinerating him. That's that's no good. You're gonna die. So here we're just again parry heavy. Look at 17k heavy on that. We get those belly bumps going. We throw off the special one. We end up do getting our um, our over overrun going. So we get the extra damage from the uh, degen on that special one. And that degen is gonna prevent a lot of the hit me I dare you charges. And we're just going to belly bump away. Again, special one. We got overrun going. I mean, over, overpower. It's overpower, not overrun. Um, and yeah, we're taking a little bit of damage. And we're, you know, we're not healing a ton back. But we got, we got so many of those rage debuffs going. And I'm like, okay, this has got to be, this has got to be a W. He's got to, he's got to end this fight really quick. And I, you know, with Warlock... And my Mystic Dispersion, I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, and we're just sitting here, waiting, crossing our fingers. Can we pull off the victory and take this home 3-1? to one? And uh, Warlock ends up... Did he get counted? Did he kill him? Did the long shot kill him or did he time out? I can't remember. I think my long shot ends up killing him, which is excellent. Good job, long shot. Um, 
Yeah, there we go. He almost got him down. Almost got him down. So we win two, get 2-0 two on match number four. That gets us the three victories, best out of five. So I win 3-1 to one on this match. You know, solid work. It was a lot of fun. Devate, um, I really appreciate uh, Ghost Dog and Jay Will and Matt and everybody else that's helping like organize this tournament. It's a lot of fun. We'll see how well I can do in the next round. Um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think about my choices? Let me know. And uh, hopefully I can do just as well in the next round, which is going to be against Nah. And I'm not, I've, I've heard that name before, I'm not sure. And then my last round is gonna be up against Fintech, which is gonna be, I'm, I know that one's gonna be a challenge and I'll probably get my butt kicked, but we'll see. But thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.